What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and we are about two weeks away from the release of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and one thing that we are still unsure of to this day is how microtransactions are gonna work. Infinity Ward has been dead silent with discussing this, but usually whenever a new COD game comes out, they won't really reveal anything about micros or the supply drop system until like the very last week of the launch window. Plus, most of the time, if I can recall correctly, the fans who get the game early Early are the ones who leak this information out so I don't really expect Infinity War to come out with a full explanation showcasing the details of the micro system but over on reddit Joel Emsley who's Infinity War's art director replied to a comment asking for more clarity in regards to the microtransaction system and he said they're focused on making a different system in modern warfare one with a direct path to content for all players so by that we can pretty much tell that supply drops are going to be returning not like that was a huge surprise though but if there is going to be a direct path to earn in-game content then there must be a path that requires players to take a little bit of a gamble so to say um, and again that more than likely means supply drops are going to be coming back but by a direct path this could mean a number of things because a direct path could be something similar to the salvage system in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare where you could save up on this second secondary currency and buy the weapon variant you want off the market or it could be something like Call of Duty World War 2 where you can unlock contracts and then of course complete those contracts to earn the weapons directly that way and again nothing at this point has been revealed but honestly I truly do believe it's because Infinity Ward and Activision are still discussing about how they're going to apply a system that still makes them a ton of money mainly to appease their shareholders investors etc but you also got to remember whatever system they do do plan on coming up with it may not be the same system come two months down the road here because we saw with black ops 4 we basically got a brand new supply drop system that's arguably one of the worst we've ever seen in call of duty history where there weren't supposed to be weapons locked behind supply drops but we en ended up getting that and we weren't even supposed to be getting you know supply drops in general or certain melee weapons and skins that ended up costing like 20 to 30 dollars absolutely ridiculous because w when the game first came out we thought that we, we were going to be getting a system that is flawless until the final days of the game cycle so the same thing could very well happen with modern warfare if the game doesn't take off as expected after all the reviews from the websites after all the articles are written we could very much so have a completely different system applied a few months from now and yeah so i'm hoping for something good something fair for the players yet that's not really infinity ward's decision or call to make at the end of the day so at the same time this response was nice to hear but also very very vague and I hope later on in the next couple of weeks or days here possibly we can get more insight on how Infinity Ward plans to allow players to have a direct path to earn in-game content so one last thing before I take off just wanted to remind you that the spec ops mode is going to be revealed today and I truly do hope Infinity Ward responds and discusses more about why they decided to release the survival portion of the mode a year from now plus why it's going to be exclusive to the PlayStation 4 only and a lot of fans were very upset about that so it'll be interesting to see what their response is going to be but anyways guys let me know what you guys think about the supply drop system and micros down below in the comments thanks for watching love y'all so much till next time i'll see you later